The U.S. State Department has officially labeled a military takeover in the Southeast Asian country of Myanmar as a coup and has some of its citizens living here in Oklahoma rethinking plans to return home. Today I spoke to one of them, a student at UCO who now fears for his and his family's safety. Within the past three days, I barely got 10 minutes to talk to my family because they cut off all the internet services. They can't even call each other in local area. Han is a Myanmar citizen studying early childhood education at UCO in Edmond. The situation developing in his home country is serious enough. We are deciding to not use his full name. I genuinely feel that international um, community Anyone in this world should know what is going on. Han grew up in a military dictatorship in Myanmar, a country you might also know as Burma. About 10 years ago, the country shifted to a democratic system. But over the weekend, the Burmese military claiming widespread election fraud, despite no credible evidence, arrested the country's newly elected leaders and retook power. Han says he planned to return to Myanmar after graduation and teach. Those plans are now on hold indefinitely. If you were to go back because of your education, it would be a risk. It is a huge risk. Just like any kind of like military dictatorship, they don't want anyone with foreign education. They don't want anyone with good education who will stand up and speak up against their action. Han says Myanmar has a history of detaining students who've studied abroad as soon as they land back home. And he's also worried about his family, which is now largely cut off from communicating with the outside world. I don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. No, I asked Han if he plans to apply for asylum here in this country. He says right now he's not sure. If he did so, he says he would never be able to travel outside of the U.S.